Hey, it's Rufo Tris with Rooted Prospecting. Thanks for tuning in today. We are going to a really awesome spot I think you're all going to enjoy. And I'm going to cut out most of the scenery from here on out just to keep it private. All right, so it is 8.30 in the morning. We just left our meeting spot with the club. And we're headed up to the Thunder Egg Claim. So super excited about it. We got a convoy of like 25 to 30 cars right now. Still trying to keep everyone separated, you know? And uh, we'll get up there, keep our distance from each other and get cracking some thunder eggs. So we'll see you there. We're arriving and it is beautiful out here. Not gonna be too sunny today. Small chance of a little rain. Not too worried about that though. Pay attention to the road and we'll see when we get up there. I'm still trying to unload stuff from my car, get my shovel and bucket. People are all down there digging, already finding big ones, massive. Like, it's like this big. Maybe I can get a picture of it to show y'all, but it's gonna be a great day. So it's gonna be a lot of voiceover in the beginning here because it was super windy when we first got out there, but the wind died down pretty quick. And unfortunately, I took most of the shots of the scenery out, as beautiful as it was. Uh, I need to keep this location private since it is a private claim. And, you know, claim jumpers are a real issue. Not just for gold, but rocks, too. These are some prime beautiful ones. Look at that right there. It's not just betroidal, but it's got some awesome little disc-like crystal growth on it as well. So I started here, and this is my first hole I'm digging. And this is what was on top of it. I loved it and decided to move it and chose that spot to dig. I call it my nubbly bubbly boulder buddy. And then a nice other little fragment here. Some awesome designs in that. And just lots of these surface pieces all over. Those are the few little eggs in my bucket I pulled out already. There's a lot of dirt in there from my gold prospecting yesterday. There's definitely some gold in the bottom of that geode bucket. <laughs> This one had a pretty sweet crystal growth coming out the top. Really interesting. I kept that one. I did not keep these two. As cool as they were, I just don't have that much space for that much heavy rock. So I only took a few big pieces home from the day. Mostly took really small to medium pieces. All right, walking back to my dig hole I've got going. I'm gonna show you how much just cool stuff is on the surface out here. Like, look at that. Look at that surface piece. Oh man, it's too bad this is a private claim. Only can come here like once or twice a year with the group. I would live out here. Got these pits going. Wind finally died down. Dud. That's the game we play. Gambling with rocks. Double yolk.
Some of these are real fragile. One of those cracked open when I threw it in the bucket. <laughs> Feels like a good one. Ooh, so does that. Let's hope that's a good one. That's light. Oh, interesting. I cracked it right down the middle and each side was very different. Check that out. Interesting. Still kind of a lever, right? It's not what we're looking for today. Looking for some amazing specimens. the way I keep cracking them that they're different on each side. I'm just finding that seam, that natural seam. And the way they were sitting and the way that seam was, it's just two totally different mineral deposits. It's amazing. It's opal on this side. Almost looks like some sulfite it's in there. Right on. Let's get back to it. and cracking rocks. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Been moving out a little bit, exploring. Uh -huh. Spent all yesterday prospecting too, so I'm just beat. Was up in Idaho City digging gold all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fun. Yeah, that's fun. Getting Great. some golden garnets. My grandson and I do a lot of that. Yep. As fun as this spot is. Gonna move over to where those guys are. They're pulling out some big old rocks, big boulders, just giant thunder eggs. So we're gonna mosey on over there and uh, back backfill our hole first. This before I get out of this area because that is awesome. All right, so it's only been about two hours. I got that hole dug and filled back up. Got some goodies out of it. I'll show you here. 
and took a little break to finish eating my breakfast because I never finished eating before starting. I was too excited to get out there. But now I'm going to eat a little bit, enjoy this beautiful scenery, and we're going to join some other guys on the other side, and they're pulling out way bigger ones. And so, yeah, stay tuned, and we'll take a look at that. Look at how wild these rocks are. Oh, that one's even egg-shaped. Camera down. Oh, that was definitely a thunder egg. Look at that inside. It's like a nice little cave of druzy, betroidal, little blue agate. That is just wonderful. This is uh, definitely on my top finds for the day. Beautiful cave in there. All right. I gotta get this camera put down and really get digging because it is everywhere. The surface is just covered. All of that is thunder egg material. That one's crazy. This was a surface find. And it's massive. That is gonna clean up nicely. Look how wild that one I just cracked open is. This massive rock is going all the way through. Check this out. It's like a stalactite formation. Question is, did it get rained on and wear down? from this direction, or was it water dripping inside a cavity and forming this direction? Is it a stalactite, stalagmite, or is it just worn down clay? Barely got in the car. So unfortunately, I was thinking this was gonna be a long two-part video, and it might still be, we'll see how much footage I have in the end. But our trip got cut pretty short. I mean, we're leaving at, it's 1.12 now. Only got up here a little after nine, and we were planning on being up here all day. I mean, I wasn't gonna head home till like five or six, but you know, what can you do when it comes to mother nature and rain? You gotta respect her, listen to her, don't try and fight it, or you end up screwed. This one has been a real pain in the butt to clean up. It's been totally worth it though. These are coming out really beautiful. I mostly used some soap water and a little vinegar to clean some of them. But look at this. Here's some of the end result to wrap up the video. These are just beautiful, gorgeous little pieces of thunder eggs and random agate chunks. Don't know what to even call half of them, but they're beautiful is what they are. I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll have some more videos coming pretty soon of cracking the rest of the thunder eggs I have open and cleaning these up the rest of the way because there are still plenty of them to get cracking open.